God, and we know, like, he actually did not hide um, the first gift of Christmas. Um, in fact, he mentions it as early as Genesis chapter 3. Um, it was after Adam and Eve had sinned. They ate the fruit of the tree that they weren't supposed to eat. Um, and, you know, they got their consequence for it. But then right after that, God starts talking about um, how he's going to redeem and how he's going to save. Um, and so he mentions um, the offspring or the seed of Eve, which is Jesus, and how he's going to crush the head of the serpent, um, who's our enemy. Um, and so um, we think of um, how, um, like what that means, uh, and that means that he is going to, he has, destroys the, he destroys the enemy and his work in our lives. Um, and we see that described in 1 John um, chapter 3, verse 8. All right, so I want to talk kind of about that word peace. Yeah, going back to chapter 3 in Genesis, we can see a lot of ways that the devil is at work. Um, he will cause division, he'll cause doubt, he'll cause deception, he'll cause shame and separation, fear and blame. And none of that is peace. Um, it separates us from God, and we know that God is um, ultimately our peace. Um, he gives us peace, and we have peace um, with God through Jesus as well. Um, so yeah, just thinking about... I'm going to say those words again, division, doubt, deception, shame, separation, fear, blame, um, restlessness too. Those are signs that the enemy is at work. And even though Jesus has come and he has, um, you know, conquered death for us, there is still Satan is at work. And we need to, yeah, really be aware of that. We can see influence in our own lives. We can turn on the news, constantly seeing how Satan is at work. Um, but yeah, if we focus in on our own life, um, like I did this morning, we can ask ourselves, um, are we letting Satan be at work in our life or letting the enemy be at work? Um, we can notice, like, what areas am I not at peace in? What areas do I have anger? Am I frustrated? Um, and he's at work to cause division, to cause shame, to cause us not to be a light to the world as well. And that's what he wants us to be, to be a light. Um, yeah, so the question I have is, have you allowed Jesus to destroy the enemy's work in your life? Or are you allowing the enemy to work in your life? And yeah, just reflect on that. What areas are do you need more peace in? And to ask God to crush the enemy's head that he's at work, where he's at work, because he is at work, even though we're believers and we trust in Jesus. Um, yeah, and for those of you that are listening um, that are not believers, I want to encourage you to pray to Jesus and ask him to be the one that crushes the enemy's head. Because um, we can only come to the Father um, through Jesus. He's the way, the truth, and the life. Um, and we can only come to him um, through Jesus. So find peace in Jesus today. And yeah, um, God bless. God bless you. <laughs>